Good morning, beautiful people. Sao Shang Hao, my people. I woke up on the right side of the couch today and I am just feeling this Monday. I'm here today to talk about Chinglish. So, before we begin, I kind of want to define Chinglish because I see it as having two different meanings. For example, a word, if I don't know that apple means apples, I really like to eat apples. But everyone will kind of understand what I'm saying, even though I've replaced one or two words with English. So for me, that is kind of one definition of Chinglish, okay? The ARGA definition sure you are saying words in English, but they have more of a Chinese meaning. And this can be very interesting because my students will say things to me that are in English, but it doesn't really make sense to me as an American or to anyone from maybe uh, Australia or England because nobody says these things. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. In class, a lot of my students will, I will explain something and they say, oh, I know, I know, I know. You don't know, I, I just taught you this. They, in actuality, mean I understand. Are you okay? This means, do you get it? Do you understand? Do you know it? They usually mean, have you heard of this or do you know what I'm talking about? Let's go to the playground. I thought that maybe this was just one or two students that called the field the playground, but it's just actually a universal Chinese thing, so I stopped trying to correct it. Let's play. Let's play is probably the one of our favorites as volunteers. It just means let's hang out, but it's so much more hilarious to just say, let's go play. It's good for your health. We get told that a lot mainly by host moms or ayis, the host grandmothers. They are always trying to feed you or make you drink boiling hot water because it's good for your healthy and why not? You can enjoy some delicious snakes. It's just very funny to hear all of my students telling me about eating delicious snakes and um, PPT and APP are just the abbreviations of PowerPoint and app. If you say PowerPoint or app, they just they don't understand what you're talking about. Hi, my name is Denver. Over. When they're done with their presentation or their test, they will say, over. And this just lets me know that they are finished speaking. You failed. Over. Now here are some easier Chinglish phrases that you can figure out on your own. Okay, here we go. Are you a gay? Do you have the sexy? I like to shopping. Let's buy bus. Let's buy taxi. Is it clear? Oh, such pity. Are you from Africa? You can have a try. You should take a rest. You better eat food. You better take care of yourself. You better take a rest. You had better come to the office. As far as you better or you had better, I really did have to go in on my counterpart with this one because I don't like people telling me what I better do unless you're my mom or grandparents. I know that she didn't mean it in that way, but I really took the time to explain to her, hey, you know, when you say you better do this or you had better do that, it's usually what parents say to their children when they're upset. And she re she laughed really hard and she was like, no, 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 that's not what I mean, that's not what I mean. Um, I said, okay, well, you can say, um, please try to or you should try to or can you do this and that is a better thing to say to foreigners than you better do this that is one thing i will correct i do not correct let's play let's go to the playground have a rest take a try because that's that's just something that it, it doesn't hurt anybody and i can understand what they're saying but when you're telling me you better do this she tried it. If you enjoy this video or videos like this, you can like or subscribe. If you like it, then I know that it is content that I should probably continue to make. If you don't like it, then I think, okay, well maybe this isn't something that people actually wanna know about my service. I make these videos to take my experience here and share them with you. But if you don't wanna hear about like toe fungus, 
all the time, then maybe I can talk about a different part of my service. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it because it reminded me of all the fun phrases I get to hear on a daily basis. If you have any comments or topics that you want me to discuss, just right down there. I'm gonna go eat because I'm starving and talk to you later. Over.